Welcome to Victoria of Strathern, a yacht of impeccable pedigree and design. Victoria combines elegant old world styling on deck and below with state of the art naval architecture, sail handling systems, and performance. Victoria presents all amenities for gracious living aboard. On deck, Victoria is a truly classic yacht with broad expanses of natural teak decks accented by bright, varnished teak trim. All sailing functions are managed from her oval teak helm cockpit aft. Her mid-deck entertaining area is furnished with custom teak seating and dining table. There's a classic butterfly skylight forward of the pilot house and an extremely practical lounge area aft of the mast with upholstered teak steamer chairs. The Andrew Winch interior is crafted in satin varnished raised panel walnut, accented by vaulted overheads and louvred walnut shades. Round stainless steel portholes, deep pile wall carpets, finished in contrasting marble. The layout and decor exude an old world ambiance of open spaces and comfort. And like all other aspects of the yacht, her elegant looks are blended with practical utility. The view aft from the bow truly gives dimension to this magnificent classic sailing yacht, with her clear and uncluttered expanses of teak deck and glistening varnish trim. Underway or in port, this is one of the best views aboard Victoria of Strathern. At the bow, the foredeck opens to deploy the massive, hydraulically operated anchoring arm and bow roller, which then folds completely away when the anchor is not in use. The foredeck has a raised cabin area that provides separate access to the crew quarters below, along with flush-mounted hatches for natural light and ventilation in the cabins. The steamer lounges on the mid-deck area are very popular for reading and relaxing both underway and in port. An additional advantage when docked stern to the quay is that this area offers a degree of privacy from the dock not available in normal mid and aft cockpit yachts. The guest area between the pilot house and the helm cockpit is furnished with two custom upholstered teak couches and two easy chairs, surrounding a varnished teak table that expands to serve eight comfortably. Both entertaining areas are well protected from the elements by bimini covers on stainless frames. The bimini's are shaped with a slight camber that makes them nearly invisible from off the boat as they blend into the sail plan. This area is protected from wind and spray by a full-width dodger that folds away into a varnished teak combing. Boarding is via the hydraulically operated staircase with swim and boarding platform. It's complete with a swim ladder, shower and accent lighting for nighttime use. Underway, the platform retracts to create the normal transom and the yacht tender is then carried on the custom stainless steel davits. Storage and lazarette lockers are accessed from both sides of the afterdeck. There are upholstered settees forward of the helm with seating for up to eight, which make the helm cockpit a comfortable social area both underway and in port. The afterdeck has comfortable seating at the stern rail, port and starboard, which, according to many, are the best seats aboard when sailing. All man overboard safety equipment is well stowed within the forward end of the stern rails, port and starboard. The oval-shaped helm cockpit has full controls for operating the vessel, basically within reach of the helm. Visibility from this area is unrestricted. Navigation equipment, GPS plotter and radar repeater retract into the teak cockpit table, immediately forward of the helm. And access to all engine controls, autopilot, VHF radio and bow and stern thrusters are well within reach of the helmsman. 
the mainsail and mizzen are deployed hydraulically from the carbon fiber furling booms by Martin Marine, with four controls in a pod at the aft end of the pilot house. Captive reel winches manage the main and mizzen sheets. These winches harness a tremendous amount of power from the sail plan via extremely simple toggle mechanisms located on the pods both port and starboard. The headsail and staysail furl on Regman hydraulic furlers and their sheets are trimmed on oversized Lunar hydraulic winches located clear of the guest and helm cockpits. Genoa staysail and spinnaker halyards are managed at the mast via hydraulic Lumar winches with removable tails for Genoa and staysail to keep this area clear of lines. The companionway aboard Victoria operates pneumatically, allowing access to the pilot house, where one is immediately transported into a rich and elegantly detailed atmosphere with open and well-appointed living spaces. The navigation station and pilot house lounge raised above the main salon creates an expansive area. The settee provides seating for six to seven around the inlaid walnut table, with excellent visibility through arched side windows. Lighting is adjusted with automatically controlled wooden Venetian blinds. This area hosts many of the casual meals aboard, and the table may also be expanded for more formal dining. Board to starboard is the full navigation station and office aboard the yacht, with comprehensive navigation, communication and performance electronics, along with most of the ship's monitoring systems. There are also full engine controls and steering capability for offshore watchkeeping in inclement weather. The main salon below to port has comfortable seating in two sofas and an easy chair. The sideboard on the aft bulkhead houses a flat-screen TV, which retracts fully when not in use. The formal dining area is outboard to starboard, with comfortable seating for up to 10. Forward, there's a full bar area with refrigeration, marble top and crystal stowage above. The classic stainless round portholes outboard to port and starboard enhance the apparent beam width of the yacht while inviting not only an interesting view, but also additional natural lighting. The walnut louvres on the butterfly skylight are a magnificent period detail. The overall ambiance of the two salon areas is distinctly classic and comfortable to the extreme. The owner's accommodations are aft of the pilot house and down four steps through a short vestibule, leading to a generous full beam owner's stateroom its width accentuated by the large round portholes on each side. Furnishings include a king-size berth slightly offset to port, a large settee outboard to starboard, and a full office area forward and to starboard. The owner's stateroom and office area can be separated to create a small additional single cabin for a child or additional guest, which is accessed by a separate pocket door from the vestibule. The ensuite head, beautifully finished in contrasting marble, has a glass enclosed stall shower and separate makeup area. Natural lighting in the head is via a traditional glass deck prism. Guest stateroom accommodations are forward of the main salon through a short passageway, which features a wood inlay sail plan and deck plan of Victoria. A serious work of art. There's a twin berth cabin to starboard and a double berth cabin to port. Each stateroom has a well-appointed ensuite head and stall shower. There's plenty of stowage in drawers, lockers and hanging lockers and separate air conditioning controls, stereo and bookcases. The galley and crew accommodation lies forward of the guest state rooms through a watertight doorway. Victoria has a full gourmet equipped galley with a Miele professional stove, gimbling athwart ships. The convection microwave oven, extractor hood and dishwasher are all by Miele. There's built-in Viking refrigeration, a deep stainless sink and Corian countertops with abundant stowage throughout. The crew lounge is forward of the galley with a dinette outboard to starboard. 
It has been said that the crew lounge may be too comfortable, as everyone aboard seems to gravitate to this area with its flat screen TV and DVD, on board and radio communications. The private crew companion way is located in the laundry area, outboard to port. There's a Miele washer and dryer and abundant stowage for laundry and domestic equipment. The captain's cabin is outboard of the galley to port with a double berth, small office area, TV and DVD, and ensuite head with stall shower. The two crew cabins, each with two single berths, stowage and ensuite heads, are forward of the galley through a second watertight door. The cabins are well detailed and comfortable. From her elegant profile and glistening bright work, her well-engineered sail plan and mechanical systems, to her extremely comfortable furnishings and layout, Victoria of Strathern is a proper yacht in every sense of the term. She was built and has been maintained to perfection.